Yo, what's good NFL fans? Welcome back to Touchdown Kingdom, the hub of all the latest NFL news and content. Versatility might sound like a buzzword, but truly versatile players can be bounced around the field in a way that justifies the hype they often generate. So in this video, we're going to give you guys our top 10 most versatile players heading into the 2021 NFL season. If you guys enjoyed this video, please do not forget to like. And if you are new to the channel, please do not forget to smash that subscribe button. With that being said, let's jump right into the list. Starting off at number 10, we have Isaiah Simmons. The number 8 overall pick in the 2020 NFL Draft got off to a slow start, reaching the 30 snap mark just one time through week 6. But once on the field, Simmons displayed the kind of versatility that allowed him to be a star at Clemson. Between week 7 and the end of the regular season, Simmons tallied 2 sacks, 43 tackles, and 1 interception, 1 fumble, and 1 forced fumble. Arizona defensive coordinator Vance Joseph told NFL's Network's Jim Trotter that he wants Simmons to spend more time as an inside linebacker this season. Helping in run support while taking on an expanded role in the dime package, doing everything from rushing the passer to covering. How quickly 2021 first-rounder Zayvon Collins develops on the other inside linebacker position spot will help dictate what the Cardinals can do with Isaiah Simmons. Number 9, Tyron Matthew. We've talked a lot about versatility here, but Matthew simply personifies the word. Here is a breakdown of his 929 snaps per pro football focus in 2020. 335 at slot corner, 301 in the box, 224 at free safety, 44 on the defensive line, and 15 at outside cornerback. Brought in to power up the Chiefs' pass defense, that is exactly what he did pushing Kansas City to rank 8th in passing yards allowed in 2019 and 14th last season. In that span, Matthew picked off 10 passes combined and earned consecutive first-team All-Pro honors. Even at the age of 29 and carrying a notable injury history, Matthew is worthy of a significant contract extension heading into the final year of his current deal. Number 8, Kenyon Drake. Drake's spot here is largely driven by a projection of what I think he'll accomplish in Las Vegas where he said he'll sign because John Gruden was head and shoulders above any suitors in free agency in terms of interest in Drake's playmaking ability. Though he's mostly been used as a running back, Drake does have receiving production on his resume, logging in 103 catches combined with Miami and Arizona in 2018 and 19, his reception total plummeted only 25 in his final season with the Cardinals, who did not feature him in the passing game at all but I'd expect the Raiders to use Drake in the role that was originally forecasted for the 2020 third rounder, Lynn Bowden. Aligning often as an X or Z receiver like former Raider Charlie Garner, who racked up 211 catches between 2001 and 2003. Number 7, Buda Baker. Baker is, as he said, blessed to be versatile, making him a perfect match for the Cardinals organization that prizes that trait in defensive players and Arizona has taken full advantage of Baker's capabilities. He usually plays close to the line of scrimmage before either dropping back in coverage, blitzing, or zeroing in on making a tackle. After signing a four-year, $59 million extension last August, Baker gave the Cardinals their money's worth, reaching triple digits in tackles for the third straight season while also recording the first two interceptions of his four-year career, Baker also earned his third Pro Bowl and second first-team All-Pro nods. Number 6, we have Travis Kelsey. Let's not kid ourselves, Kelsey is functionally a wide receiver who happens to be a tight end next to his name. Consider that, according to Pro Football Focus, Kelsey actually logged more snaps in the slot or wideout last season, 455, than he did at tight end, 376. To put this in perspective, the similarly versatile Darren Waller played 618 snaps at tight end for the Raiders in 2020, compared to 322 in the slot or out wide. The effort of his mismatches, Kelsey forces went on full display in the second half of the season. From week 8 and on, he caught at least 7 passes per game and topped 100 yards 5 times. He also became the first tight end in NFL history to post 1,400-plus receiving yards in a single season despite resting during the Week 17 finale. Number 5, Jamal Adams. Pass rushing ability is what separates Adams from the pack at the safety position. 
Not only did he break Adrian Wilson's single season sack record for defensive back by collecting 9.5 for the Seahawks in 2020, but he did it in just 12 games. Adams is also just 9 sacks short of Rodney Harrison's career record for sacks by defensive back 30.5, the most sacks since they were first tracked in 1982. Adams is about to become the highest paid safety in NFL history and he deserves it. Before getting into the next player, I just want to mention if you guys are enjoying this video, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe if you are not already. With that being said, let's get back into the list. Coming in at number 4, we have Taysom Hill. The term Swiss Army Knife gets tossed around a lot, but it's hardly fit for a player that fits it like Hill, who has lined up at not only just 4 different positions, quarterback, running back, tight end, and receiver in his NFL career. The immediate question is, will Hill continue to be used in multiple ways in 2021, or will he be the primary quarterback in the wake of Drew Brees' retirement? Hill says he's focusing this offseason work on prepping to play quarterback, and he did start games in Brees' absence last season, but if Jameson Winston ends up being the quarterback one, it won't be surprising to see Hill popping up across the stat sheet once again. Number 3, Alvin Kamara. There's no questions the Saints selection of Kamara in the 2017 NFL Draft made the final four years of Drew Brees' career a lot easier than they would have been otherwise. Kamara can average around 835 rushing yards per season, he can catch 81.5 catches and 706 receiving yards per season, and he can score. Kamara led the NFL in 2020 with 21 total touchdowns, with a career-high 16 rushing and 5 through the air. With top receiving threat Michael Thomas injured or slumping for most of 2020, Kamara carried the aerial load, becoming the only Saints player to crack triple digits in receiving targets for the year. He also played 138 of the 637 offensive snaps, that's 21.7% outside of the backfield, per next-gen stats. Kamara might not be used the same way in 2021, with Thomas returning to full strength and with the quarterback torch being passed to either Jamison Winston or Taysom Hill neither of whom has been especially proficient with the screen pass. But that doesn't change the fact that we know what kind of production we're getting out of Alvin Kamara. Number 2, Christian McCaffrey. McCaffrey's spot could be justified by his 2019 season alone, considering he became one of just three players in NFL history to top 1,000 rushing yards, 1,000 receiving yards in the same season. He basically was the Panthers' offense that year accumulating a whopping 142 targets and 287 carries while breaking his own record for catches by running back with 116 topping his mark of 107 in 2018. It would not be surprising if McCaffrey's workload were to shrink a bit, given that he's coming off a season in which injuries cost him all but three games. But it's tough to conceive on an offensive player who can come close to achieving his status as a do-everything monster. Coming in at number one, we have Jeremy Chin. Every once in a while, a player with elite pro potential will slip through the cracks at the college level, and it appears this is what happened with Chin, a second round pick out of Southern Illinois last year, who emerged as a defensive rookie of the year candidate while proving himself to be exactly the kind of player every defensive coordinator should be seeking in the modern NFL. Chin is a back seven defender who can match up against basically anyone, whether he's functioning as a linebacker, safety, or slot defender. The offseason additions of run-stuffing linebacker Denzel Perriman and pass rusher Hazak Reddick should give defensive coordinator Phil Snow even more options when it comes to taking advantage of Chin's skill set. That does it for our top 10 players heading into the 2021 NFL season who we believe is the most versatile. Please leave a comment down below your list or if we left anybody off this list that you guys want to mention that you think is very versatile and deserves to be mentioned, let us know down below in the comments. Also, smash that thumbs up button if you guys enjoyed and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Stay tuned for more NFL content leading all the way until the season carrying all the way through it. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace.